Alrighty, folks, here we are, back in the game. Back in the game in which I am named Bitch. Why can't I highlight myself? There we go. In which I am named Bitch. Um, why am I wearing a helmet? I installed mods. <laughs> I installed some mods. Um, and I should not be wearing a helmet. Why am I wearing a helmet? Where... See, and now showing helmets on bitch. Well, don't show them on bitch. How about it? There we go. It works now. That's much better. That is so much better. The helmets in this game are very ugly. <laughs> so hi, Nathan. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> I'm having, I'm having a day. I'm having a day, like... Not a good day. Not a bad day either, just a day. Who? <laughs> I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Very nearly, Sir Donald. Finished in a weird place. May I introduce my day. fellow Grey Warden? We are the last two in Ferelden, as far as I know. Terrible key. news indeed. Pleased to meet you, my lady. Might I know your name? I prefer not to mention that, thank you. Perhaps wise. You are aware of the bounty on your heads then. The bounty? Bounty! Dan Logan has declared the Grey Wardens responsible for the loss at Ostagar. He claims he withdrew his men to save them. I don't believe a word of it. But with the Tern offering hard coin for your deaths, you'd be smart to keep your identities secret. If Arl Eamon were well, He'd set Loghain straight soon enough. So you're here looking for the urn of sacred ashes, then? I am indeed. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. Ah. Oh. Your friend Sir Henrik is dead. I have something of his. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Yeah. Nick has mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Yeah. Is there a reward, perhaps? A reward? Oh, uh, of course. I hope a sovereign is sufficient. Oh my god. Thank okay. you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. Yeah, I should go. I'm With not With Henrik fucking gone, I need to return to, to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, my lady. You have been most helpful. So basically, I've thought about, I've thought about how I'm going to handle this playthrough, right? Over the weekend. And I think basically, bitch is just out for herself. Bitch just, you I'm know. Make us spoke. Chant of light. Uh, bitch just wants to key required. That's interesting. Uh, bitch just wants to. Have you ever wonder if that's those an accurate likeness of Andraste? Maybe those she was ugly. Maybe she had buck teeth. Of course. Maybe maybe bitch just just you know um, bitch got put into this fucking shithole of a position and and, uh, and she's just trying to survive. An enduring perseverance. Um, to us. that's just and the life then shall the that I'm cho choosing for bitch. She's mean because, and evil because, I don't know. I don't know what I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not thinking properly, really. Give me a second. Um, there we go. Okay, um, journal. So what the fuck do we have to do? We don't bandits. Right. Oh, I'm gonna ma actually make the poisons for the first time. So let's talk about your mother for a moment. I'd rather talk about your mother. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Okay, are you? Much more interesting. To you, perhaps. 
you would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. You know what's more interesting than that? Apostates, mages outside of the tower. That's illegal, you know. You did not read that in a book somewhere, did you? I hope the small letters did not strain you over much. <laughs> oh, we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. I love their, like, friendship. It, 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 because it is a friendship, right? They bicker and, like, talk like that, but it is an actual friendship. Sup? Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps? Mm. I, I didn't. I fucking. I always talk to her before I get Liliana like a dumbass. Because I'm sure Liliana. I think Liliana can make traps, but. Elder Miriam. What's you up? got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <laughs> what? Do you think I'm a refugee? Hmm. You look better armed than most refugees that come through. Not implying you're a deserter or the like. I'll trust you can take care of yourself. What's going on here? Ever since good King Kaelin passed, refugees and soldiers have been passing through. I'm the elder here and I've my hands full making sure refugees don't turn to petty theft or worse. <coughs> Sir Bryant at the Chantry is seeing to matters of defense and such. He'd have more of an ear for your type. Well, all right. I... Helpful refugee. You might not want to go in. Tavern's full and those soldiers are being a nuisance. Uh, tell me about... You seem unhappy. Is there any reason to be happy? With the king dead, them darkspawn will overrun Lothering before anyone can organize. You'd think those soldiers could at least run off the bandits. I hear someone gave them what they deserved. Wasn't you, was it? Twas. It was? Hey, everyone! This is the one who drove out those thieving bastards! More will probably come, but it's good to know some justice is left here. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. It wasn't It wasn't for your fucking benefit. They disrespected me. Nobody well, disrespects me. Look what we have here, then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Loghain's men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about an elf by this very description, and everyone said they hadn't seen one? It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, it's surely. weird that Liliana has a sword trouble. when These all are of her no fucking doubt talents more poor souls seeking are, refuge. Are more than that. Now stay I, this, 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 this is a peeve. This is a pet peeve of mine. You'll get the same as that. Hi, King. <laughs> that sounded weird, but uh, that's your name. Okay, yeah. You get to be called king by strangers. That's lovely. Um, it seems like he wants a fight. I'm happy to oblige. Right. Let's make this quick. Murder is fun. I don't remember what she's going for. Another battle I can have. 30 fighting? Okay. Then this one. This one fucks over everybody. Oh yeah, that's least straight. All right, you've won. We surrender. Good. They've learned their lesson, and we can all stop fighting now. Um. Yeah, I don't want them reporting. They aim to butcher us. They deserve no mercy. Please wait. They have surrendered. They were no match for you. Let them be. Grew. <laughs> Grew, cutie. <laughs> I, 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 I agree. The guy from, from Despicable Me is also adorable. Um, no, they die. We kill them. Murder. Right, man. All right. We should be behind them for them backstabs. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. Yeah. Mm. It's alright, I was happy to save your life. <laughs> save my life? 
I assure you, I can handle myself. This game is gold and old. That's correct. It crashes sometimes, so expect that to happen. You must butting into others' business all the time. So now you know all about me. We just met. We haven't met at all, actually. Well, that can be quickly remedied. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. Um, and is there something that you wanted from me? Those men said you're a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. <sighs> and just what help would you be to me? The Maker told me to join you. Surely, he would not do so without good reason. Nah. Right. Uh, I believe this is where I back away slowly. I... I know that sounds absolutely insane. But it's true. I had a dream. A vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full up. Look at the people here. They are lost in their despair. And this darkness, this chaos, will spread. The Maker doesn't want this. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the Maker's work. Let me help. Mm. Very well, I will not turn away help when it is offered. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Thank you. I appreciate like, being she's, given this She's chance. evil and mean and a bastard. Um, or, or fair bitch here, but... Um, Indeed. I should have the dog slot. Give me a second. There we go. Dog is back. And so I shall. Because, um... Uh, she won't turn away help like she know she's very aware that the situation she's in is a little bit precarious, right? Um. So she wouldn't just be like nah, no, we don't like we don't need your help or whatever. You can have this as your second weapon, bro, but like, you are a fucking... Like... I'm playing an evil character, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna... Embry's many pockets... It definitely this for you. You're, you're, I'm gonna teach Morgan blood magic, definitely. Is this one better? Wait, that's- oh, oh, okay. Right, 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 right. Mm. This feels like something that should go to Leliana. See, I don't know if 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 bitch would give them gifts. Does she like them? I don't know. I can't I'm not very good at like role playing, which is weird because this is my favorite game and this is basically what the game is, but I always just pick what I want to pick. Um you're here about food. Take it up with that bleeding runt by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. Know of any well-paying work in Lothering? Check the chantry's board by the chantry. There's good jobs, huh? Um, <clears throat> I don't suppose you know anything about uh, 
poison. I might have dabbled in such things. I figured if I kept asking, I'd find someone. I'd pay good coin for some simple poison. Something to slow them beasties down or mm. make them think twice. Uh, and, okay, I'll see what I can do. Thanks. I might have some ingredients in stock. Don't really know what you need. Mm, show me what you've got, babe. I'm buying the gifts, but I don't know if I'm gonna give them to them. But I'm buying them. But I don't know if I'm gonna like. I don't like. You get it. You get it. I don't know. Um. Thorn of the Dead Gods. I mean, it's bad. It's not that good. It's the the name sounds really cool, but it's not that good. No. Okay, wait, let's see the quest. That's not the journal. Uh, the farmer Barlin once, once placed poisonous traps around, <laughs> it should be once to place poisonous traps around his farm to protect it from beasties and other treasure. So you create a suitable poison cream tree, flask of venom should do the trick. Okay, cool. I need toxin extract. Oh. Any luck with that poison? Oh, you're here to see my stock. Show me what you've got. Do you have, he doesn't even, does he have toxin extract? He doesn't even have toxin extract, okay. We're going into the, the fucking woods here. And. The new recruiters out. I keep your voice down. I'm cold. I don't like How dare you accuse me of thievery. I saw you take the supplies from my car. Your grassland eyes are inept. A chase end would never stoop to petty theft. You marsh folk are all thieves and liars. Enough. People here are already desperate and frightened. They don't need you two coming to blow. Shock give up. All right. Dan, what's up? You aren't one of my captors. I am not. I remember the revered mother mentioning this man. She called him a savage from the far north. I have nothing to say that would amuse you, Elf. Leave me in peace. Oh, you're a prisoner who put you here. I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by the Chantry. The revered mother said he slaughtered an entire family, even the children. It is as she says. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. Uh-huh. I am bitch pleased to meet you. You mock me. Or you show manners I have not come to expect in your lands. Though it matters little now. She's nice to him because she kind of understands enough. him. This is a proud and powerful creature trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for Mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. <laughs> yes, that's what I would have expected. <laughs> I suggest you leave me to my fate. Um, I, uh, I find myself in need of skilled help. No doubt. What help do you seek? Uh, what do you care as long as you're free? There are greater things than freedom. Honor for one. Okay, you could help me defend the land against the Blight. The Blight? Are you a Grey Warden then? Yup. Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. Excuse you! Farewell then. To be left here to starve? Or to be taken by the Darkspawn? No one deserves that. Not even a murderer. And so it is done. Yeah. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. Uh, I guess that will do. May we proceed? I am eager to be elsewhere. Sure, yeah. Let's just go. Um, no, nah, I'm going to keep it like this. I'm going to keep it the way it is. And we're gonna go that way, because they're gonna attack us and we're gonna get to fight. We 
we done heard what was said. You're a warden. I don't know if you killed King Kalen, and make her forgive me, I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Attack! Like, they don't even give me a chance to say anything. They're just like, ah, attack, and I'm like, cool. So we kill refugees now. You usually don't go this way, because you can avoid this entire fight. But I feel like it's in character that she kills a bunch of refugees. Liliana, stop using your fucking... What now? Her tactics are probably jumbled, right? No, they're fucking... At one point I will have to sit down and figure out everyone's tactics and everything. I am playing on easy, so it doesn't really fucking matter, but... Right. is a little bit overpowered at, at this point in the game, right? Like, we a bit too strong right now. Don't mind it. I really don't, but... Lovely. Maybe that guy, you know, the... The guy who who who's like evil in the courtyard that I didn't chase away for once has some toxin extract. I don't know though. God, oh, you're so nice. all so eager, aren't they? Hello. You want to fight? I'll give you a fucking fight. Get armor. As you desire. There's elf fruit there. This was quick save. Yep, I remember what the quick save button was. That was something. That was brilliant of me. Lovely. <sighs> Wait, there's a chest here? I never knew that. Wait, hold on. Of course. That's nice. Ever since I learned that tab interact like the tab marks like interactable things. Wait. <laughs> what? What? Wait, what? 
The Mabari claims this area as territory, increasing the hound's aggression and tenacity in its defense. Okay. That's a thing, apparently. Since the fuck when? Well, all right. Just die already. I've played this game so many times and I still keep finding like new things. It's so weird. It's so weird. Alistair, how about you draw the aggro like the tank you're supposed to be, huh? It's still not- he's- no, he's not. Like, what the fuck, Alistair? We're gonna have to become a tank rogue. Cause that's weird. <laughs> that, that would be a weird build, right? A tanky rogue. <laughs> As you desire. God, okay. Wait, I forgot I have all of these unlocked because I've played this game before and they stay unlocked. <laughs> Anyways, uh, mm, I never know where to put them. Let's see. Uh, uh, let's, yeah, why not? Who, who's to say that's wrong? I'm not gonna use that a lot. Attacks cause more damage, but the character cannot inflict regular critical hits or backstab. So it's like good when I'm doing like 1v1s, I guess. Right. Well, all right. There's like spiders that that way, right? If I remember correctly. I don't fucking know. I'm just vibing. There we go. There's the spiders. Literal nightmare fuel. I get. Uh, oh, like it's it's terrifying. I hate it. <laughs> Okay, see and now we have toxin extract. For the for the venom we need to make. For that guy. And he's gonna be say thank you for the venom. And then we're gonna be like, haha, my chemical romance reference. <laughs> how many how many does he need? Um three flasks. Three flasks. He needs three flasks. I only have one flask. I need to buy flasks. I need to procure some flasks. Should probably buy out all the ones he has. Right? Like, probably. Man, Lothering is so cute. The carnage we left in the These wilds? These dark spawns corrupt the earth. The air turns to blackness. Even if they are defeated, can we ever- Hey, bro. I need some flasks. <sighs> You should give them to me for Heading free. That poison? Or you're here to see my stock. Uh, show me what you got. Oh my god. My bank keeps trying to get me. Cool, I bought all the flasks I'll ever need. My bank keeps trying to get me to take out a loan and they just don't understand the fact that I'm fucking unemployed for some reason. And they're like, 
buy buy your buy like take out a loan and I'm like poison? you won't oh, give yeah, me yeah, one Stop. you won't give me one so I keep getting splendid oh, if those beasties come on my land I hope it teaches them a lesson yeah it's enough gold to cover any of your expenses and then some hey <laughs> that's not gold my friend that is 75 sovereign I think right that's gold, that's sovereign, and that's, I don't know. I don't, put a silver, I guess, and then the, I don't know how the fucking thing works. Blackstone liaison, wait. As I live and breathe, you're the Grey Warden everyone's been talking about. I didn't about. know he was here. Is there something I can do for you? I represent the Blackstone Irregulars. We're a mercenary company that fell on hard times after the war with Orle. Uh-huh. I'm sure you know that times are getting worse every day. With your help, the Irregulars could be of use to Ferelden once more. Mm. Hey, why should I help you? The Blackstone Irregulars fought alongside the King's army against Orlais. We've helped nobles defend their land and given our service to people in need for generations. Our current captain, Railnor, is an honorable man who sees that we can do some good in Ferelden once more. He is so confident in our mission that he trusted the Grey Wardens would support us. Oh, I'm not interested. I understand. If you change your mind, come to any Blackstone Irregulars post and check for letters addressed to you. Do, like, is there money involved? Uh, my friend, there are a number of people who pledge to aid the Blackstone Irregular in times of need. Those times are now here. You will find three letters of conscription. Deliver them to the people still below and return to the Irregulars for your payment. Should any of these people refuse, do what you must to get them to honor their oaths. Um, uh, these deserters took with them valuable supplies crucial to regular creatures as supplier of martial uh, services deal with these wastes and see, see fit and bring the supplies back as proof that the problem has been dealt with uh, we will ask no questions as to your methods or the final condition of the deserters use your own discretion I this feels this feels like a chance to just ruin some fucking lives, really. Patter Gritch and Lothering. How where how the fuck am I supposed to find him, huh? He's here somewhere. He's here somewhere. What's to be done? What can we? Ah, oh, okay. Well, well, let's just just keep your head down. That's what, and your wits about you. So Terran Loghain is the new regent, isn't that? Of course. Thing? I heard that he may have had something to do with the king's death. I thought Darkspawn killed the king. That doesn't make any sense. Minor. Where, where are the crafters? But don't. So, let me get this straight. You were a cloistered sister? You must have been a brother before you became a Templar, no? I never so I shall. When you became a Templar, I was recruited into the Grey Wardens before I took my final vows. Do you ever regret leaving the Tentry? No, never. Do you? Yeah. You may not believe it, but I found peace there. The kind of peace I've never known. It used to get so quiet at the monastery that I would start screaming until one of the brothers came running. I, I would tell them that I was just checking. Just checking. Oh, you never know, right? I... no, I never did anything like that. I enjoyed the quiet. I freaking Sing love them. I freaking I love them. I really do. They're so fucking, like... I love the, the, the characters in this game are truly some of my favorites. Like... The best characters. They are the best characters of like any game. Um, I shouldn't give him heavy armor, right? Like I shouldn't. Face was always priceless. Yo. Hello, friend. Care to take advantage of your discount? Yup. This way. 
And beware the urchins. Oh yeah. my god, shut up. Uh, how are you guys? How are we doing in chat? Hmm? Because I'm tired. <laughs> I'm real tired today. I don't really know what I'm fucking doing or anything. Um... Yeah, I need to fucking, like, go through my inventory and shit. Let him take notice and shine upon thee, for thou hast done his work this day. Hi, Bonnie. Long time no, no interact with each other. And Andraste came unto Lovely. them, saying, Though the danger great, the mountain high okay we have to find that guy what the fuck was his name that's not um patter gritch in lothering oh my god How am I meant to I find this friend, fucker? A witch of the Kukari well. Both. They also say that washing your feet in winter makes you catch cold in the head, but we all know that is not true. But sometimes they are right. And they are right in this. Mm. You know the stories about. Of course. You think my mother would let me go without telling me all the stories of her youth? As you <laughs> desire. My mother told me stories too. She was the one who kindled my love of the old tales and legends. Oh my god, where is all these curdled fuck? my blood and haunted my dreams? No little girl wants to hear about the wilder men her mother took to her bed. Need something? I don't generally talk to strange elves who wander in here. Um I didn't wander anywhere, thank you. You still look like trouble. We got plenty of that with the war now. Who are we romancing? Dude, I don't fuck it. I'm I'm tired today, yeah. I don't know who I'm romancing. I'm trying I'm trying to be evil in this playthrough. I, it's very hard. I'm having a hard time, like Yeah, uh, no. Beg pardon and all. I should mind my manners. Much better. Don't let me stop you. This guy's rude. How am I meant to find that guy that I'm meant to give a conscription letter to? Like, he's not on the map. Maybe he's in the Chantry? I've never done this quest before because I usually fucking don't do the quests, but I want money. I'm like power hungry now. I guess. I guess that's that's the roleplay we're going with. Uh, fuck, fuck if I know. Fuck if I know. Hey. It's good to see you again, Sister Laliana. Thank you, Sir Meron. Uh, never mind. Make her what? Okay. I mean, I romanced Alistair last time, so it's definitely not going to be Alistair this time. Where is that guy? Petter, whatever. There he is. There he is. This is him. Hey, yes? bitch. What can I do for you? I have a letter for you from the Blacks and Regulars. I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my sister. Sure, sign the paper, she said. You'll enjoy some coin now, but they'll be back. I guess I'll see you on the front lines. Yep. Can Liliana steal? Yes, she can. What did I get? What did I get? I don't even know what I got. Did I get the key to that thing? What the fuck did, did I get from him? It said stealing success. No. Marvelous. I love I love how she's like a chantry sister and we can get her to steal. Mm 
Go steal from the revered mother. Nothing to steal, apparently. Okay. That's something. I, 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 I like the idea of romancing Zevron, though. Cause it's, 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 it, it'd be, it'd be a cool story. Like a, a fucking assassin sent to kill you, falling in love with the fucking meanest bitch in the fucking kingdom of Ferelden. <laughs> and they save the world. <laughs> Would be very cool. Oh my god. Ah. Okay, so we have those missions to do. And then we get to leave. We're just milking this place for the money. Like, we're doing those missions for the money. Like, I haven't even spoken to this I child. I have a wonder, Alistair, if oh. you will indulge me. She's ha she has a wonder. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to live. You are very beautiful, Morrigan. Oh? Tell me something I do not know. But you are always dressed in such rags. It suits you, I, I suppose. A little hair here, a little rip there to show some skin. I understand. You understand I lived in a forest, I hope. Maybe we could get you in a nice dress one day. Silk. No. Stealing is a crime and crimes are pog. Velvet is heavy. <laughs> Better to guard against the cold in Ferelden. Dark red velvet. Yes. With gold embroidery. That's it's weird. I've never really had happy. them interrupt each you other like that. Features. Stop looking at my breasts. Stop looking at my breasts like that. It is most disturbing. That's funny. I wasn't listening to them for a while, so I was like, ah. Disturbing. You don't think so? And if oh. Let's go. We're in the thick of it. You're not supposed to attack me. I'm the Leliana, stop switching weapons. Go off and be a fucking archer. You drink a potion before you die. She died. <laughs> God, now I have to be fucking Alice there. It's not a good look for me. I don't know any of his fucking skills, so it's not easy. Oh my god. God. I'm usually not that bad, okay? I'm usually not that bad. Hey, hey! Is that is that that he, that's a streamer, right? <laughs> Choke me like you hate me, but you love me. <laughs> Watch me make this joke like multiple times throughout this playthrough, because that's probably not the only corpse in 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 the fucking game. Bears. Hello, bears. Well, all right. Let's go into. Let's do it. Below the belt on a on a bear. It has some blood on me. Okay. All right. And now we get to go back. I fucking, I fucking love corpse. Uh, you haven't been here in a while, but I've, I've, I've joined, I've joined a Minecraft. Um, I've joined a Minecraft SMP. And, and someone in the SMP went under my house and built like quarters of, of just signs, it, like being like, 
Ali is a corpse stan and it's just rows and rows and rows of signs underneath my house that I didn't build. <laughs> Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. And the stars You can probably still, find it in one of my vods. I think quiet, they're still all up. animals of earth and air held their breath. If you're curious, all silent in prayer and thanks. And it's kind of, it's kind of real funny. Okay, so I'm not doing that task and then uh this is Lake Callahan, Darren Denerim and Frostback Mountains. Mm hmm Okay. So I don't have anything else to do here, right? I don't. Okay. God, I'm 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 off my shit like today. I just I woke up and I immediately like went back. To, I like I slept really well, so I don't really know why I'm so tired, but Wants to be Let's just look Yeah, we all have them days. Why did it have to be one of the days where I was scheduled to stream though, you know? I feel like... Let's talk to him, he has a name. You're gonna make more trouble? Well, you've about all we can stand in loathering now. Uh, so, uh, and what if I am? If keeping you drunk makes you calm and happy. Drinks are on the house. Right then, name's Denial. Sorry, I can't chat. Drinks much. are on the house. the house. Have you heard any rumors? I hear news from dinner room that Tian Logan has been declared the new regent. It makes sense. His daughter being the queen. Anything else I can get you? Heard any other rumors? I hear the dwarven king is passed on. Old as he was, he was probably poisoned or assassinated. That's how the dwarves normally go out, isn't it? Yep. Anything else I can get you? Uh, yeah, I'll be going. Luck speed your way. I never really explore Lothering that much anymore, because, like, I've played this game so many times, I kind of forget how, like, nice Lothering is. I, I think they do want you to spend a bit of time here. So that like when when it falls apart you're like ah I feel bad for not not helping this child cuz cuz he's gonna die now probably it's very sad But you know that's just life there's rubble here Yeah, so I'm just like trying to get rich and it's working pretty well. Like, I, I don't think I've ever had this much money this early on in to get the game, but hey. Someone help us! Okay, cool. rearrange this to work better for me. There we go. Hmm. Like the motivation here that my 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 bitch her name is bitch has in saving everyone is mighty timely arrival there my friend i'm no he I, he's he's been let out i've let him out he's out he's out of the cage don't worry about it um <laughs> just how obliged exactly you want a reward eh? i suppose that's an entirely reasonable request how does a hundred silver sound I was going to use that to fix up the cart, but uh, quite frankly, I'll be grateful enough that my son and I come out of this with our heads. 
That sounds... Mm, mm, no, no, bitch would try to get more money. Bitch would try to get more money. I hate it. It hurts. Yet you have a whole card of goods. Unsold goods, I'll point out. Though, you've a fair point. Here's 200 silver. But it's all I have. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant <laughs> and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been muddy dangerous. So the motivation bitch has for saving the world is so she lives in the world. He, she's one of those unfortunate fucks who has to live there. So she's like, oh, I might as well. I doubt you want to travel with a Grey Warden. Grey Wardens? Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offense, but I suspect there's I'm... more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. I'm trying to I'm do an evil playthrough. I, I feel like it's going Goodbye. okay so now far. Then. Let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Okay. Like... You know, she's just vibing. Let's go then, I guess. So, you know, evil playthrough. Uh, it's hard. It's hard. It is really hard, some of the decisions. I'm scared. I'm scared for what the evil playthrough is going to mean in Dragon Age 2. Because there are some choices in that game. There are some choices in that game. I, I was very unsure, yeah. I was like, oh, I don't know how it's going. I don't know how it's going. It's going a ways. It's going somehow. Bad dreams, huh? Mm. Why are you bothering me? I'm fine. It's just that you were shouting in your sleep, loud, and not in a good, this is private way either. <laughs> you see, part of being a Grey Warden is being Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, Bonnie. Storm. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. <laughs> Yeah, and why the fuck didn't Duncan just tell everyone that? He did. He said he felt the Archdemon's presence. Everyone that's just what, assumed that's exactly, that's exactly that's exactly eventually my point with I'm out. scared of how that's Some gonna go in Dragon Age can 2. The Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. Like, really, it really scary, it depends on how my character develops in Dragon Age 2, because I don't know. I'm probably gonna be a mage hater in Dragon Age 2, so... Any other surprises I should know about? Other than dying young and the whole defeat the blight alone thing? No. I'm all tapped out for surprises. Look how Stenna's just standing there. Now, right? Let's pull up He's just like, yeah. Fuck! <laughs> that hurts! Oh my god, what I'm trying to figure out, what I'm trying to figure out, right, is um, whether or not I'm, whether or not I want to give them gifts, because it seems like I should give them gifts, no? Like, they're my party. Am I, I'm, should I be nice to them? Like, would I be mean to them? So this is, I, I'm a city elf. That's my origin, right? City elf. So I, I assume you know the origin story for that. That's a lot of the motivation for my character. Um, but I played mage last time. I don't want to, you know, have a playthrough that's similar to the last one. Yeah, but anyway, so that's a lot of motivation for the hate my character feels towards everybody. But... Alistair kind of sort of saved her from that life in a way and, and put her into a fucking shithole life But th th that did happen. So I'm like, should I be nice to them? Should I not be nice to them? I don't know You're a hard woman to find where are my manners the name is Levy Levy Dryden 
Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins? Levy the trader? Duncan never mentioned you. Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. But I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. Okay. What promise did Duncan make to you? My family... Well, past a bit checkered to see. Nobles look at us with disdain. Uh -huh. My great great grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when the wardens were known as freeloaders. So King Olin banished the wardens and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Uh, just tell me what I need to know. Duncan wanted to reclaim the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. And perhaps we'll uncover evidence to restore my family's honour along the way. Nobody's been to Soldier's Peak since the Grey Wardens were banished, but I found a way. Mm. They say it's haunted, and it's certainly dangerous. Will you help me? Ah. Uh... How will reclaiming the peak help the Wardens? Soldier's Peak is strategic and symbolic importance. Duncan said that it would be worth it right there. He also hoped to recover lost warden history and perhaps a few old relics. No one knows what's up there now. Mm, relics. So, so now, now bitch is thinking, ah, relics. Money. Profit. You know, like... A thousand blessings upon you, warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. Like, she's been put into this life that she doesn't want because because some fucking noble tried to have his way with her and her, like, ah, close ones. Ah, good to see you, my timely rescuer. So... Odon Fedic, at your service, once again. I saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a Grey Warden? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Um, let me see your wares, Bodan. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. With my discount. Uh, ooh. Ooh, that looks pretty. <laughs> this tin helmeted puppet is printed with the blue and gray heraldry of Grey Wardens. Pet rock. <laughs> Ugly boots. Uncrushable pigeon. That's 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 really fun. This one's really funny. Enchantment. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tramp I mean, fellas actually called him a what was it now? A savant. So I she no would talk to existed. to her to her like campmates to her squad, you know. I feel like because she's like I have to spend time with these people, so I might as well like know their motivations and everything. So she would probably enchantment. Okay, well, I don't have any runes, but hey, that's cool. Okay. So I feel like, you know, she would, she would talk to people. She'd be like, hey, what's up? What do you wish of me? I'd like to ask you something. If you must. Um, is Flemeth really what she seems to be? 
<laughs> well, that depends, does it not? What does she seem to be? Um, a nutty old bat. <laughs> Sometimes I do wonder the very same thing. Tell me, how much do you know of the tale? The one that the Chastens still tell of my mother, <laughs> to frighten them into obedience. Uh, I'm more interested in the th in the truth. I can relay what Flemeth once told me herself, and you can decide whether or not tis the truth, if you desire. Um, yeah. All right, but make it quick. As the tale <laughs> is sung by the bards, there was a time when Flemeth was young and beautiful, a fair lass in a land of barbarian men. The desire of any who saw her. Mm hmm Just how long ago is this? Many centuries. Before this land was even named Ferelden. The tales say that Flemeth fell in love with Osen the Bard, and fled the castle of her husband, the dread Lord Conobar, and that he swore vengeance for her infidelity. In truth. My mother claims that t'was Osen who was her husband, and Conobar the jealous lord, who looked on from afar. Lord Conobar approached young Osen and offered him wealth and power in exchange for his lovely wife. And Osen agreed. <laughs> Seems like a fair deal. Aye, it was. T'was Flemeth who suggested the arrangement in the first place. All would have been well had Lord Conobar kept his end of the bargain. But he was a foul man who bargained with coin he did not possess. Osen was led off to a field and slain, left for dead. Flemeth spoke to the spirits and learned of the deed, and swore revenge. I, I'm, I'm very curious as to how this, like, stays on her titties. Like, I, feel, I, I, I wish it was a question, like, hey, hey, Morgan, can I just ask you something? How does this fucking stay on your titties? How have you not, like, flashed us yet? I feel like you should've. I feel like you should've. Because <laughs> it, it feels like she should've. Like, look how much boob she is showing. That's, like, a lot of titty. <laughs> so she truly loved Osen, then? That was not the point. Conobar had no honor. So she would not have him. <laughs> Flemeth begged the spirits to aid her, <laughs> and it was they who slew Conobar. The demon the legend oh my God. tells of came later. I guess. Lord Conobar's allies chased Flemeth, you see. Chased like, I'm not complaining about how much city is being shown here, but there she I'm just the thinking about the logistics of her talk her right now. The legends all speak of the great hero Cormac, he who defeated Flemeth and her great army when she invaded the Lowlands centuries later. All lies. Uh, of course Flemeth would say that. You would be surprised at how little my mother cares for what I or others think of her past. The truth of the matter is that there was never an invasion. As Flemeth tells it, the Chastened never raised an army under her banner, and she never fought with any warrior named Cormac. Cormac led a brutal civil war against his own people, and later claimed it was to vanquish evil that had taken root amongst the lords. Thus, he was hailed a hero. Flemeth was only All right, attached to enjoy the your food, Bonnie. Perhaps it was due to the great war with the Chastened that eventually came, but Mother claims not to know how it began. Oh. How is it that Flemeth has survived so long? The demon within her has transformed her into... something else. An abomination, perhaps, some would say. I know not. I only know my mother is clever, and she is part of the wilds as it is part of her. But she is no immortal. She bleeds. A blade in her heart would kill her like any other. Were Except it, it wouldn't. Enough to find her. Except it wouldn't. Except it wouldn't. The legend tells of Flemeth having many daughters. You ask if I have sisters? I have asked of this myself. The stories tell of many witches of the wilds, after all, not just the one. And these tales existed long before I did. Flemeth refuses to speak of other daughters, if they existed. So, should I believe I am her first? 
I doubt that too. Who's her dad? <laughs> that 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 would be a cool like thing to to, to for, for Morgan's father to show up in the next game and be like, hey. So what if it's so this? <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> I don't think it is. I don't think that would make sense, but it will be funny. <laughs> be a little bit funny. Earned abominations usually insane horrors. How often is this usually? Always? If not always, then when is it not true? There are more things in this world and the next than you or I could ever hope to understand. What Flemeth became is a mystery. I suspect even to her. I feel like, I feel like bitch would respect Morgan. Flemeth tells it with far more embellishment. They would respect I, each other. But you are welcome. They would, Dare they I would. Ask of your own mother. I Few feel... are abominations of legend, tis true, but I find myself curious nevertheless. Oh, my mother died a long time ago. Oh, then you have my sympathies for what it is worth. <laughs> Which is very little. How can you so not be looking at this? Not, Look at this. Ah, oh, it's amazing. Morgan disapproves. Hey, babe, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I feel like bitch would definitely respect Morgan a lot, and and like actually like her. Why are we stopping? Um. We're working together. Or right, now let's just get a few things straight. There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? <laughs> I need to know if I can trust you at my back. I am Kunari. I have given my word to aid you. We are not people of idle promises. Okay. Why did you offer to help me? For the moment you are the enemy of my enemy. Hmm. For the moment. Yes, I am Kunari. As long as you do not make yourself my enemy, I will aid you. I can promise nothing else. We should get moving. As you wish. Okay, we should fucking sort out the whole inventory situation here. Um... Morgan. I need more strength on my fucking character, I guess. It's fine. He gets this fucking helmet and I'm gonna give him- I can't give him this. Um. This is better. I wanted to give him that. This is a sword that I got for mods that I used in my last playthrough. And it's fucking overpowered as shit. It's so overpowered. It's really good. <laughs> And yeah, I need more strength on my character. Don't let me put, don't let me put like more stuff into things that aren't helping. Um, I am grateful. Tis thoughtful indeed. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna give myself some strength. Um, so she would give Morrigan a gift, definitely. Because she respects her and likes her. 
She thinks she's, she, she, bitch definitely thinks Morgan is cool because she hasn't like been taken advantage of. Uh, wait, I should pick a spe specialization. I can read. Um, assassin. The assassin finds any notion of fairness a quaint ideal that has no place in combat. Poisons are their weapons of choice as are crippling strikes that inflict persistent wounds on their foes as killers, assassins are a marvel of stealth and efficiency. Bards follow an religion tradition, acting as assassins, spies, saboteurs, and following other secretive pursuits in their constant and sometimes petty struggles between nobles. Having taken the minstrel's art to new levels, birds are skilled performers and master manipulators. Barkins and Fyther Elliot and Sartan are foes, through song and tale. No. Rangers have an affinity for open country and wilderness, but are, but as independent scouts and militia, they are opportuni opportunists, not stewards of nature. They exploit every advantage of their environment and can lure white wild beasts to attack their foes, or they are are deadly combatants who prefer to fight in light armors and strike with light but precise attack. Experienced duelists have pre preternatural reflexes that allow them to evade their opponent's clumsy blows as well as strike with remarkable I feel like this this is bitch. That that matches bitches bitch. Bitches like that, yeah? Um need this. Uh, can I like get weapon better weapons now? Yeah, I can. Um. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes? Uh, I'd like to thought, talk. Well, here I am. Um... What would someone like you be doing in a Lothering's Chantry? She's suspicious, that's why she's asking. What is meant by someone like me? Um... They don't teach you how to fight in the cloister, do they? Did you think I was always a cloistered sister? The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become affirmed. Um... And why were you seeking safe harbor? The Chantry does not pride, and you should. I desired time apart from the world. I was a traveling minstrel in Orlais. Tales and songs were my life. I performed, and they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. Um, let's move on. Interesting, right? That's interesting now. Oh, we're like, we're like, Leliana, that's suspicious. And she's suspicious of Leliana at this point. That, that, that's, that's where her bitch would be What at. do you need? I'd like to ask you something. Ask away. Tell me about the Grey Wardens. Such as they are. Um. What would happen if we just left? Just left? You mean just left for Elven? Yeah. I don't know. If there's an Archdemon, however. We're supposed to be the only ones who can defeat it. And that means the Blight would grow unchecked. Eventually, other Grey Wardens in Orlais and other lands would hear about it and they would come to fight it, but they wouldn't come in time Look to Look at the height Elven. difference. There's no way. <laughs> Jesus. I'm not going anywhere. So where are the nearest Grey Wardens from here? That's a good question. There's plenty in Orlais, but who knows where they might be found. And the nearest Orlesian city is weeks away. If we go north and cross the sea, there's bound to be some in the free marches. Again, however, I just don't know where. I don't know anything about Grey Wardens in other lands. Uh, so what happens now that there's just two of us? I imagine that eventually the Grey Wardens outside of Ferelden will wonder what's happened. Why there's no contact from Duncan or someone. They'll send someone eventually. 
Though who knows what Loghain's people in Denerim will tell them. Maybe they won't send anyone. Sad. We could try to contact them. But that would mean leaving Ferelden, and even if we did, they couldn't come back with us in time to stop the blight. So that means whatever happens, it's up to us. God. Now, now, and she's like, she's like, I don't want to fucking fight Fair people. Enough. What do you need? Eh, uh, never mind. Okay. Um. Bark spawn. Oh, why you little? <laughs> Are you harassing my dog? Me harassing your dog? I should say it's the other way round. Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. <laughs> Good boy. Teach that silly Alistair a lesson. Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. Bark spawn. It's bark spawn. Do I have any bones for him? Like any... Um, anyone, anyone, anyone. Algren, Leliana, Alistair. I, I don't, she wouldn't give them gifts at this point. Maybe later, but not now. Now she doesn't really trust them. She trusts Stan a bit and definitely trusts Morgan, but like she doesn't really trust Stan, but she doesn't dislike him. She very much mistrusts them actively. And then she trusts Morgan. That's where I, I, I think that's where she's at at this point. Indeed. Hmm. Yes. Indeed. That's the party I'm taking. Do you usually never go anywhere without um without being able to Without fuck man, I just trailed off without 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 Alistair. I usually never go anywhere without Alistair. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little bit spacey today. Like just a little bit. Just a tad. Tad spacey. And so I shall. Alfred. We love uh, Alfred. You'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit nervous. Not many people traveling in this part of Ferelden. Hydrate. Of course, that's part of my Cheers. problem, isn't it? Thanks, Seth. Mule got spooked by a wisp and ran off into the woods. Now what do I do? Um, are you asking me to find your mule? Oh, no, no, no. I sent my elf to do that. I mean, I sent my helper, Taran. Nice fellow, that. Taran, allow me to introduce myself. Felix de Grosbois, merchant and entrepreneur at your service. Of course. Merchant out here. I don't normally take this route, but with the war, I was hoping for a bit of luck and good weather in the mountains. Ugh. Sadly, I've had neither. Ugh, this trip has been one miserable disaster after another. I don't suppose you consider helping a fellow out? Set a timer for five minutes, please. There you go. The cat ears are on. Uh, help a fellow out. How? Oh my God, what the fuck? Having glasses on my head and the cat ears, it's just weird. Of all the other things that went wrong, the worst is this artifact I brought in Jada. It's a control rod, I'm told, for a golem. No point in me keeping it, however, as I'll never get to use it. But uh, maybe you could? Um, what's the catch? The catch? 
Yeah, I uh, suppose it is a catch, isn't it? The catch is that the golem didn't come with the rod. It's supposed to be down in a village down south, waiting to be activated. Even if I could get down there, which I can't, I understand the place has been overrun by Darkspawn. That's yeah. not such an issue for adventurous types like yourself, surely? Or I'm hoping that's so, at least. How do I know this will even work? The fellow I brought it from is a long-standing contact. He didn't want to come to Ferelden, however, with all our... troubles. <laughs> he said jingle, he got it from jingle. the man who owned this I mean, golem. my brain isn't working but either. To be honest, it's fine. I have no idea if it will. We're just two, two bitches Hence having goof for brains. Low price? <laughs> what do you say? Uh, I think I could use it. Just as well. As I mentioned before, you'll find the golem down south, in a town called Honleith. I'll mark it here on your map. Just hold up the rod and say Dulaf Gar. That will wake the golem up, so I'm told. I hope it works. Hmm. If not, I'll be back. Alright, well, uh, oh, then I really hope it works. Best of luck to you then. Now, I guess it's up to me to find that mule myself. Okay. Um. I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm hoping I'm hoping the thing will work, you know, the thing I have with the with the random clips that play. Here goes nothing. <laughs> it doesn't work again. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get it to work. I'm gonna get it to work. Give me a second, right? Let's do this for, for realsies. Why isn't it working, huh? The resource you were looking for might have been removed. Has it name changed or is temporarily unavailable? That's what's work. That's what's happening there. Okay. Oh my god, you are such a fucking bitch. It worked yesterday, right? Because I, I, I checked everything yesterday and it all worked. It all worked. I can't even take a fucking break now without having some fucking shit going on for me. You know, it's just... It's just fucking... No, yeah, the entire website is down. <laughs> that I used for it, so... <sighs> Guess that means words on stream is back. Babes, you get to play a game while I'm gone. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta set that up. You know, I'm trying. I'm trying to have a professional and good stream. I do all of this fucking work on my days off that I don't stream on. I'm like, I'm gonna, you know, fucking make it real good. It's gonna be fucking awesome. Everything is gonna fucking work. And then, and then shit like this happens. And it's just bullshit. I'm gonna pause the timer when I'm not here. Hold on. Well, there's less than a minute remaining. But I'm gonna pause it. It's paused, I promise. And then, um, enjoy this.
All right, give me, give me a second to get myself back into, <laughs> yeah, you did it. I saw it. I saw, I saw, I saw the, I saw the, uh, the, the, the thing being like, ah, oh, game over. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm free. I've turned the timer back on. You're not getting, you're not getting uh, cat ears when, when you shouldn't get cat ears. Oh man, oh boy. Um, wait, hold on. I have to reset the game because the window went weird. Hold on. Hold on, I have to, I have to restart the game. Because uh, <laughs> the window, the window went weird because I have it in windowed mode. Cause, so I can go to my second screen without issue and it went weird <laughs> and there you go the cat ears are off okay um right 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 Han Leith let's go That's interesting. What we do here? That all you got? Oh my god, Leliana, stop not being an archer, you little whore. It had chainmail on it for some reason. That's that's fine. Oh my god, okay. Um Really want Zevran already. I hate how you can't how like Zevron is like an encounter. Alright. Wow, these guys are squishy. Are they meant to be squishy like that, or...? Sensing more dark spawn. I feel like I'm a little bit overpowered, I don't know. I don't have any mods that make me more powerful or anything, so... I think this is just an OP party. <laughs> oh, I mean, this is a really good party though, isn't it? Um, I'm just gonna make these guys level up on their own. Cause I suck. 
and I don't want to think about more more than my own build because I'm not fucking smart at all. Key required. Very sad. Very sad. <sighs> right. damage in this one. What the fuck? It's a lot of damage. Of course. Now I guess this is Olaf. Hi, An Joey. Golem, and not a statue at all. I wonder how it ended up here of all places. How are you? No, of course. I'm I'm tired, but hey, we're going strong. The basket is almost empty. Most of the bird seed seems to have, and they didn't get to finish reading that. Note, there is a note here. Let's read it. Lovely. I'm not gonna read it. Because it doesn't open automatically and I'm not searching for it. As you desire. Let's get the let's open that chest. This is Joey, this is the asshole playthrough. I'm being mean. It's it's going very well. <laughs> I'm actually having a lot of fun being like, what What would the character do? What would the character do? Like, would the character do this or this? Well, that's an, like, I, I hate how it, the, the picture is like this nice curvy knife and this one's just red. It's just red. So I guess we're going in through that door. Very creative name, I know, I know. It's just amazing, I'm really good. <laughs> Strange crystal cluster, I'll take that. As you desire. Hello. Um. Am I still in this mode? Is this active right now or not? 
Don't know. Let's see. Let's, will she do a backstab here? It's not active. It's just, she did a backstab. Leliana! You're an archer! Go do archery! God! He died. I was like, oh. he died though, apparently. Mm. Charred corpse. Choke me like you hate me. And it, it, it's, it's going to happen every time I see a corpse in this game. Fake archer, true, 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 true. I don't, I don't know why, because these, are, this is her like one weapon, like right. I have this as one, and this is two, and she keeps swapping to two for some reason, and I don't know why. Like, because her tactics are very archery. Shall we go? Chest. Okay, let's go, f go on then. Wilhelm Special Brew. Ogren's gonna like that one, huh? Those guys behind the barrier just watching me fucking loot corpses. I'm just like, yep. Yeah. That's just life. By God. Hey guys. By the maker, we're saved. Huh. <laughs> Wouldn't be so sure about that. You weren't sent by the ban, were you? To save us. Yeah. I'm looking for whoever owned that statue outside. The statue outside? Why would... Oh, I think I see. You bought the control rod, didn't you? You came here looking for shale. Yep. exactly what's happening. That damnable golem brought us nothing but trouble. My mother sold the rod years ago after it killed my father and good riddance. <sighs> so you're saying the golem is defective? How should I know? It must be. My father was its master, and it still killed him. Surely that's not normal behavior. My father's name was Wilhelm, mage to the Isles of Redcliffe and a hero in the war against Orlais. And what did he get? One day, my mother found him outside the tower, 
with so many broken bones she could barely recognize him and shale standing over him just like it is now fun My father deserved better than that but if you really want to wake shale up well it's yours now um. That's uh, That's great. It murdered its master. Look, I know you probably have more important things on your mind, but I really need your help. Of course you do. I know you already saved my life, and I'm grateful. But my daughter is inside the laboratory. She was afraid and, and ran too far in before I could stop her. I don't know how she made it past my father's defenses. One of the men tried to go after her. He was killed, but you could find her, couldn't you? Uh I want to know how to activate that golem. How to activate it? We just used the control rod and the code phrase. Or did mother give them the wrong one? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She said she never wanted to see Shale activated again. If I wouldn't so, either. I'll gladly tell you the proper phrase. Just save my little girl. I'm begging you. Ah. Uh... All right, I'll go look for her. You will. Thank the maker. My father's laboratory. Bitch is a bitch, but she wouldn't area, let a little girl die. She has to be there. Right? Like she wouldn't. She'd be like. Eh. Okay, wait. Sun is probably injured because he fell, right? He he got deaded. You need you need an injury kit, my boy. Take one. Thank you. Um This is imagine these four people and a dog walking into your fucking like thing, being like, haha, we just defeated all the dark spawn in the village. <laughs> it's like an elf. An apostate mage, a chantry sister, and whatever the fuck Stan is. <laughs> and also Bark Spawn. <laughs> kind of funny, I think. As you desire. Would be funny. Just to oh, watch oh, watch all of these fuckers walk into your fucking thing. Leliana! Leliana! Stop it! Stop! Okay, backstabbing. Let's go. Oh, these guys are easy for some reason. Harvest festival ring. Like, she definitely tried to get something out of saving the girl, right? That's definitely something bitch would do, but she would save the girl, I feel like. What do you mean you've never climbed a tree? Don't- Oh look, someone's come to play. You have come to play, haven't you? We're playing a guessing game. It's better with more people. Uh, we? Who's we? Kitty and me, of course. You don't see anyone else here, do you? Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. Um... Sure, let's leave. You can bring the cat. I can't go. Kitty says she can't come, and I'm not leaving her. She'd be lonely. Uh... Hmm, I would not suggest leaving in such hostile company anyhow, Amalia. Look how they act. Ah! That's not really a cat, is it? Of course she's a cat. She just talks, that's all. Talking is simple enough. Once you know how. Yeah, I don't think talking to this creature is safe, Amalia. Oh, bug whistles. You're just no fun. 
I'm going to ignore you now. Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. Um. A stranger who finds you very interesting. Oh. Did you hear that, Amalia? I have another admirer. That's because you're wonderful, Kitty. I have been bound to this chamber for decades, cut off from all contact. It has been maddening. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father and leave this place forever. Um... Let you have the girl. You mean possess her? That's such a crude way of putting it. I do not wish to harm Amalia. I merely want to see your world through her eyes. Is that so wrong? Now, um... I don't know what she would do here. I actually don't know what she would do at this point. Mm. I let you go, but you need to leave the girl. Mm. But I do like this one. I like you too, Kitty. But if it means escaping this prison, I am willing to leave on my own. Ah, I agree to your terms. That's what she would do. The mage's wards hold me within this chamber, and only a mortal may approach them. There is a trick to disarming the wards, but I do not know it. Perhaps you will succeed where the girl failed. Oh, this is so exciting. Kitty is going to be free. I've always wanted a cat, and Kitty is so perfect and pretty. Like, she would... She, she, this is, this is, this is what she would do. She, 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 she doesn't care that the demon is going to be set free, but she wants to save the girl. So she'd be like, y you can go if you leave the girl alone. Right? That's, that's what she would do. Um. Okay, hold position, guys. I like it when Kitty sings to me. Right, 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 right. Well, all right. Okay, that's how it works, I forgot. Forgot that it's really fucking annoying. And so I shall. Of course. Lovely. Okay, um. Father doesn't like cats, but he never met Kitty. Wanna move you here. Lovely. You there, you here. And so I shall. You here. As you desire. You here, you back here. Um, Kitty says Grandpa Wilhelm locked her up in this room. Isn't that awful? Lovely. It's not exactly what I want. Well, one that points down. best friend and that's, so that's very nice for you Amalia I'm very happy you have a friend and so I shall of course mm -hmm. I was thinking about the Sun silly <laughs> as you desire Ow, don't set me on fire. Okay, uh, and then need another down one. This, that's easy enough, I guess. Of course. Tell me a story. Lovely. Of course. As you desire. Move. There we go. It's just that easy. I can feel the magic fading. It's just that oh, easy. I had forgotten how it feels not to be caged. Kitty, what's happening? A wonderful thing, my dear, for both of us. 
Don't forget our deal. I have changed my mind. I like the girl. I do not think I will find another like her. Oh, so I get to go with you after all? No, no you won't. Oh, I will take her anyhow. She is mine. Kitty, you're scaring me. I won't let you inside me. I won't. Yeah, I'll let you go as long as you leave the girl alone. No, no. Morgan disapproves. Liliana approves. I was I was all down for letting her go, but like or bitch was, I guess. Oh my god, we are gonna get fucked here. Cause I am already on fucking fire. <laughs> Oh my god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Drink this. So be it. <laughs> Morgan just fucking eating us up, like really just fucking. <laughs> Morgan fucking carried us here. Word of Shattered Dreams, Helm of Honolith, Spirit Shard and Helpful Just. That's pretty good. All right. position and I haven't unlocked them. <laughs> they were legging it over to me. They were like, ah. Probably save. Oh god, no, leave me alone. I feel like it should not be this easy at this point in the game. Uh, but it is. So hey. You did it! You freed her! Thank you so much! I'm sorry I ran away, Daddy. Shades. I was so scared. It's all right, Butterfly. You're safe now. All the bad creatures are gone. Yeah. The phrase to activate Shale is Doolan Han. If you still want that bloody thing, I wouldn't if I were you. Now we should go, and quickly. Thank you again. We owe you our lives. See, I, I, I'm developing Bitch's character. Like, I, I, I decided to do evil playthrough, but now it's so much more than that. Right? Like, it's so much deeper at this point. What the fuck is this? That is kind of creepy. Okay. Hello, Shale. I usually don't play like this where I come up with a character, but I actually really like it. I might do it more often. I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. And not even a mage this time. Probably stumbled across the rod by accident, I suppose. Typical. <laughs> you could be more thankful, you know? 
It thinks I should be thankful. Well, of course it does. Why would it not? I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long, many, many years. Oh, you poor dear. That would be really, really boring. Then one wonders that you wouldn't be grateful to the one who allowed you to stretch your legs, Gollum. Hmm. Another mage, I see. Charming. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? Uh, most of them. I take it that wouldn't concern you. Familiarity breeds contempt, as they say, and after 30 years as a captive audience, I was as This is still the evil gameplay, yeah. <laughs> Not that I wish their Hi, fate Henrique. on me, no. Henrique. But it did make Whatever. for a delightful change of pace. I'll get it right one time. I'll get it right one time. Uh... Oh, I'll bet. Well, go on then. Out with it. What is its command? Ah. Uh, I'm told you killed your last master. Did I? I honestly don't remember. Perhaps it was after yet another time he called me Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget... Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. Yeah. Um. It certainly does, right in its hand. I see the control rod, yet I feel... Go on, order me to do something. Why? Oh, go on. It will be fun. Okay, yeah. Um, then be silent. And, uh, nothing. God damn it. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is broken? <sighs> Shouldn't you be happy about that? Hmm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means I have free will, yes? Yeah. It is... Simply, what should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. I'm really curious to see what but Shale does in the Deep Roads, because I've never taken Shale down to the Deep Roads before. No. What did it intend to do with me? Uh... I hadn't given it much thought. I see. Wonderful. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it, or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. Um... What do you want to do? I watched this village for so long, unable to move or act. My memories of anything before are vague at best. So I have no idea what I want to do. I'm glad to be mobile. Is that not enough? Uh... You're welcome to come with me. I will follow it about then. For now. I am called Shale, by the way. Is that your name or what you're made of? <laughs> it would rather I was called Flint. Pebbles. How about Rubble? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... Vashadon. I have to deselect the dog. Yes. Um, right. I get to level up. I need some strength in this bitch. Willpower will probably be good. I don't fucking know. I don't know how anything works. <laughs> Survival. The characters can detect the presence of nearby creatures below the character's own levels. The skill also grants a small bonus to nature resistance. That's useful. Um, this. Immediately lockpicking. Always, until I master it, and then I can actually do other stuff, but... Lockpicking is a must. It's crucial. I love how when Shale walks, everything shakes. Like, that's kind of funny. That's, fu that's real funny.
This 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 cutscene. Watch it. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I don't understand. You look like a woman. Um. Uh, are you flirting with me, Sten? Flirting? I don't know this word. Speak the common tongue. You are a Grey Warden, so it follows that you can't be a woman. Ah, uh, Grey Wardens can't be women. Women are priests, artisans, shopkeepers, or farmers. They don't fight. That's not a very comprehensive list. <laughs> the laborers, soldiers, and Ashkari are men. There is nothing else left. None of this makes any sense, Stan. Exactly. Uh, I'm a woman and I'm fighting. Or, mm, we're going around in circles here. I don't know what to make of you. Perhaps this is a quality of Grey Wardens I had not heard about. A person is born, Gunari or human or elven or dwarf. He doesn't choose that. The size of his hands, whether he is clever or foolish, the land he comes from, the color of his hair, these are beyond his control. We do not choose, we simply are. Oh, right, yeah, but a person can choose what to do. Can they? We'll see. Well, Stan approves. So she she kind of she kind of is like she doesn't fully trust him yet, but she doesn't actively distrust him. She distrusts them too. She tr she she likes Morgan and trusts Morgan because she understands Morgan. And then Shale is she hasn't really talked to Shale yet, so we don't know where she stands. That's 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 where we are at right now, right? Ah. Uh. What's with the heavy size? Oh, that. Merely reflecting on the hopeless nature of the task in front of it. Yeah. The most likely outcome is that it and its companions will become a stain on some rock for the darkspawn to tread upon. I shall be moved to a single tear by the tragedy. Uh... Glad to know you care, at least. It's true. One single tear, and then it's off to the north, I think. Or maybe west. I haven't decided. What's that? Did it hear flapping wings? There may be pigeons nearby. We should be alert. <laughs> so so, so she has this kind of... She kind of gets Shale, and she gets Morgan, I guess. I like I like this I like this. This is this is a really good like story that I've crafted now. What do you wish of me? Uh I'd like to ask you if something. You must. Um did you grow up in the Kakeri wilds? Why do you ask me such questions? I do not probe you for pointless information, do I? Um You could if you wanted to. <laughs> oh, what luck. What is it you asked if I grew up in the wilds? A curious question. Where else would you picture me? For many years it was simply Flemeth and I. The wilds and its creatures were more real to me than Flemeth's tales of the world of man. In time, I grew curious. I left the wilds to explore what lay beyond, never for long. Brief forays into a civilized wilderness. And you remained unnoticed? For the most part. Flemeth taught me well. For all that I had been taught, however, the truth of the civilized lands proved to be... overwhelming. I was unfamiliar with so much. So confident and bold was I, yet there was much that Flemeth could never have prepared me for. Um... Very daring. That sounds like you. <laughs> Equal parts daring and foolhardy, perhaps. Only once was I accused of being a witch of the wilds, and that by a chastened who happened to be traveling with a merchant caravan. He pointed and gasped, and began shouting in his strange language, and most assumed he was casting some curse upon me. I acted the terrified girl, and naturally, he was arrested. 
That was quick thinking. Men are always willing to believe two things about a woman. One, that she is weak, and two, that she finds him attractive. True. I played the weakling and battered my eyelashes True. at the captain of the guard. <laughs> Child's play. The point being that I was able to move through human lands fairly easily. Whatever humans think a witch of the wild looks I like, really like Morgan. is not I. Like every time I play I this game, I fall trouble. in love with Morgan a little bit more. There are things about human more. society which have always puzzled me, such as the touching. Why all the touching for a simple greeting? Same. I have no idea. I'm not human. Do not speak to me of trivialities. Your culture is not so entirely different. There were many nuances that Flemeth could never tell me of. When to look into another's eyes. How to eat at a table. How to bargain without offending. None of these things I knew. I still do not understand it all, truth be told. But then I gave <gasps> up long ago any hope. Morgan is so. autistic. When I returned to the wilds last, I swore to Flemeth that I had Morgan no is autistic. of leaving again. Literally. Wait. No, I love that. Oh my god, I love that. No, I love that. That's... Mm. She's definitely autistic coded. Oh god, it's so cool. Okay. Maybe that's why I like her so much. Ooh. Well, I'm glad it worked out this way, at least. Yes? Let's ignore the entire Darkspawn threat and the presence of a simpleton as your only other Grey Warden ally, then. Not that I lack appreciation for the intent of your comment. Thank you. Well, let's get on with it before the ground opens up and swallows us, yes? Oh my god, I, I can't believe Morgan actually likes me now. Um... That's kind of an achievement, no? I would say. God. The inventory system in this game really fucking sucks. Like, it just sucks. Um, what does it look like? It's not even pretty. It's not even pretty. Okay, I should probably look at two strength, two dexterity, and four attack. That's pretty good. Um, that's pretty good as well for for a warrior. Sure, that's belt. Uh, that's yeah. I'm actually gonna look at things, like... I'm actually gonna look at things and try to, like... Actually... Play the game the way it's, like, meant to be played. Like, like use, like, runes and shit in, in the game. Stop switching your weapon, babe! Look how beautiful this bow is, and it's so weak. It's so sad. Bye, Seth. Have a good one. Um. God, this this armor is like design is weird, right? Like it's just a weird design. Converts all damage to fire damage. Lightning would be cool. Yeah, that looks dope as shit, bro. Ooh, 
shiny. Definitely would give a gift to Shale. Because she actually likes Shale at this point in the game. Look how cool she looks now! Oh my god! Are you sure I can't interest you in this hat? A pair of earrings! Let me see her wears boat on. Um, Morgan. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, keep that for now still. Uh, yeah, that, this, this, this gets sold, all of this gets sold. Um, this, sell this, sell these guys. These are gifts, so I don't want to sell them yet. Because I don't know if I'm going to use them. Not sure where I'm going with the with the playthrough for now. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't have a lot of plans. Like, I don't, I don't have a planned out, like, in detail. I see it found some augmentation crystals. I was not even aware it knew about them. Well done. So, what does it think? They don't make me look any wider, do they? I find I'm already too wide as it is. I think they're so pretty. They are, aren't they? I so adore them. I think it should find some more as soon as possible. I want to glitter from ear to ear, so to speak. Of course, anything for you, Shale. Uh. Oh. You're still with me, I see. Yes. Its adventures are interesting, even if the chances for success are remarkably slim. It would be better to throw oneself off a cliff, I suspect. <laughs> Does it wish me to leave? I can, though I see no reason to go. No stay. Um, don't go, I happen to need you. Or no stay, you're quite helpful. No, no doubt. Quite helpful. Without me, it would have to carry its inventory on its own. Perhaps we should continue. Its chances of success are small enough without further dawdling. Dawdling. Hello, what do you need? Ask away. Um... Uh... What can a Templar do exactly? Essentially, they're trained to fight. The Chantry would tell you that the Templars exist simply to defend. But don't let them fool you. They're an army. They are. Their, the main purpose for a Templar is, of course, to hunt mages. To that end, we train in talents that drain mana and disrupt spells. Um... Couldn't others learn these talents? Perhaps, but there usually isn't much of an opportunity. The Chantry keeps a close rein on its Templars. We are given Lyrium to help develop our magical talents, you see. Which means we become addicted. And since the Chantry controls the Lyrium trade with the Dwarves... See, well, my theory is that the Lyrium doesn't really do anything. That they don't actually need it. They just, want, they just keep the Templars addicted. I feel like a lot of people share that sentiment, that the Chantry just gives the Templars lyrium and says, you need this for your talents to be stronger, to keep them in the Chantry, so it's harder for them to leave. Sounds like an excellent method of control. You think so, huh? You don't need lyrium in order to learn the Templar talents. Lyrium just makes Templar's talents more effective. Like they, they even oh, say it in the game. I definitely he believe this. Even do that. The Chantry usually doesn't let their Templars get away either, so they can spread their secrets. I'm a bit of an exception. Lucky me. I wish we got more Alistair and Cullen interaction in this game. Yes. Or in further games. I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. Um... 
You were a traveling minstrel. Do you have tales to share? Of course I do. I love stories far too much to keep them to myself. Everyone should be able to benefit from them, I think. Um... Tell me about the Darkspawn. Chantry Law says it is man's pride that created the Darkspawn. In ages past, the mages of the Tevinder Imperium ruled much of the world we know. And their pride? They thought their magics invincible and imagined that they were greater than the Maker himself. So thinking, they invaded his golden city, planning to take it for themselves and depose their own creator. But they were impure and full of sin. And it is with the sin that they tainted the golden city, corrupting it forever. The Maker cursed them and cast them from his sight. Wherever they went, they spread the taint of their sin. Any land that was touched by the taint became blighted and would suffer no life. Instead, the darkspawn arose to torment us and remind us of our hubris. Yep, that's just fucking shit. Right. Doggo, let's go. I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. <laughs> oh, like you can tell the difference. For all you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. <laughs> if you had it and didn't know it, it was probably tasty. Okay, um, where should we go next? I want to do like short quests so we can trigger, so we can trigger, um, Zavaron. I don't know where I'm going. Indeed. Indeed. Yes. Let's take this this wonderful party and let's Let's go here. Why can I still go to Lothering? Wait, can I still go to Lothering? That'd be weird. It hasn't like disappeared off the map. It usually does by now. Take a little closer look at the guards. The guards wear the uniform of Ban Loren, a minor lord well known and w little loved for the fluidity of his li lines. Take to. You are supposed to recognize the uniform of King Caelan's honor guard. A memory comes to you. Fought alongside this man at Ostagar. Let's go. Hey, babes. Of course. She's, she has her bow in hand. Lovely. 
Oh. Okay. Thank you. She would have joined the fight. I didn't expect the band. She likes fighting for one. Escape so quickly. I tried to hide here in the woods, but there wasn't time. And now I'm a dead man. Well, you aren't dead yet. What do you mean there wasn't time? You were there in Ostago. You know how things went. For me, it was either this, or die in some dark spawn's belly, or, or be hung as a deserter. Yes, I recognize your face. I'm sure that can be arranged. No, no, it's better to die like this. On a forest floor in the hands of a warden. I abandoned Kalen. He was my king, my friend. We were there to protect him, make her. All that time in Ban Loren's prison. And I couldn't stop thinking about all they suffered that one dark night at Ostagar. Can't wait here all day listening to you whine. All day? Your estimate's more generous than my own. But perhaps I can make it worth your while. If it's the likes of you who sees me to my final hour, perhaps things happen for a reason. The king entrusted me with the key to the royal arms chest. If anything were to happen to him, he said, it was vital I deliver it to the wardens. <sighs> Do you still have a The maker has a sense of humor, doesn't he? I suppose it's for the best, however. Had I kept it, it would be in Ban Loren's hands by now. I was afraid. I thought I would lose it on the battlefield, so I stashed it in the camp. Please, it's probably still there. Of course. Where? The key's behind a loose stone at the base of a statue. I'll draw a map for you, so you'll know where to search. If you have any survivors of the battle among your companions, take them with you. Their memory of the terrain will serve you well. I'm only sorry I cannot join you. It is vital that the king's documents do not fall into the wrong hands. As for Marek's sword, I love how, I love how they basically told you take Alice there. Same for the king's <laughs> other arms and armor, and and if you happen to find Caelan's body, see it off. He was our king. He shouldn't be left to rot amidst the darkspawn's filth. <laughs> Course, yeah. And so I shall. Ugh, I don't know. I want Zevran already. I don't want to do much without Zevran in my party, but I, I haven't fucking triggered him yet. It sucks. Like, he hasn't even been sent out yet, which sucks. Yeah. Wait, can I go back to Lothering? What? That's never been a thing that I could have done. Oh, hey, old Tegrin. You have coin, stranger? The doors of Mar closed off. Old Tegrin can give you a discount. Fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. Cool, let's see this discount, boy. Uh, that's not interesting to me, but these are interesting to me. I... Why can't I go back to Lothering? What? What is this? Why am I able to come back here? What? I'm cold. I don't like this. 
Is this a glitch? Do you miss the life you once had, Shell? These centuries of memories you have lost. Does it miss being within its mother's womb? Do I... Well, no. I don't remember that far back. It is no different. <sighs> My memory stretches only so far, and what went before is now lost. I've never... And you remember nothing at all. Not even a little bit. There are images. Faces who I have no names for. Places I remember being, but not where they are. Do I miss these things? They are without context. I feel only disquiet when I think of them. Oh, is it because I... Hi, hi, Marissa. Is it because I picked up the contract with Bla the Blackstone Irregulars? Then yes. I've never had this. Like, be... How very sad. To discover your entire life has been a forgotten dream. I am I've so never sad. been, like, able to come back Hello, here. Oh, friend. Care to take advantage of your discount? Ever before. This way. And beware the urchins. They have grabby little hands. <gasps> what? Was it always this easy to forever be able to... To just... What? That's... Wow, okay. What? Yeah, I'm just fucking able to... What? Since when? Since when can I just come back here? Is this always- why? It, 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 see, the problem is I always play this game in the exact same way. But like playing it this way, I guess, uh, as you desire, really gave me a way to. Because I'm playing it completely differently than what I usually do. Hey, Shale. Mm. Chicken. Chicken. You're not gonna. I wish you could like. Be like, hey, chill, look at the chicken, just kill it. Ah, it's weird. I've never... See, I guess it pays to, to, to decide to do an evil playthrough. You discover so many things. never I've never had it like usually I left and it was it never never been able to go back to Lothering before god there's still so much that I don't actually like know about this game which is ridiculous and so I shall and I can go back to Flemeth's hut which is also not something I was ever able to do. Weird. Weird. No, oh, God. Hex 
loves that for me. Leliana is always being a little fucking bitch. Mind blast! I see. Should really, you know, uh, tactics it up. Right, yeah, let's, let's I shall do it. Up. Thank, thank you. And thank you for picking me up. You stop not using your bow. Oh, wonderful. As you desire. Lovely. Okay. We get We get money f we get experience for disarming traps, which is helpful. Lovely. Free experience, everybody. Lovely. It's a good day to be a rogue. And so I shall. Why am I able to go back to Flemeth's hut? Like, I haven't picked up her grimoire yet or anything. So why am I able to go back here? Should I just keep going back between Flemeth's hut and Lothering to trigger Zev? <laughs> Is that gonna work? <laughs> Cause I really want to. I want. I really want Zevron. Let's just let's just do it. <laughs> Come on, Zevron. Will you stop eating? Rush them and spring your own ambush for a change. Liliana, you're an archer. Make it. Morgan is overpowered as fuck. I love her. But where is he? There he is. Hello. Men are getting pummeled by shale and still fucking standing. At the end of it. Hey, yeah. go destroy that. Could someone please stop the bleeding? Are you injured? Of course. <sighs> okay, cool. Let's get rid of all of the fuckers and then... Oh, that's nice. That's a nice death there. 
Just getting your head lobbed off. Lovely. Hashtag goals, am I right? See there? That's a trap. Allow me. I could do that for you. Could you? Yeah, of course. All right. Guess you couldn't. Lovely. Oh, nice. Real nice. Hey, um, Shale. The barricade, thank you. Shale, the barricade, thank you. Marvelous. I mean, we can go around it, but hey. I would watch out for you. Allow me. I could do that for you. No, you couldn't, Liliana. No, you couldn't. That's fine. We all know I did that on purpose, right? Why would you keep weapons in a locked chest when you can get ambushed at any moment and would need those weapons? Like... Like, hold on, I know you're attacking me, but like, please, for a second, can you... Can you just, like, uh, hold on while I unlock this chest? Right? Weird. No, oh, there's a bandit over here. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't. I didn't loot his body. He was headless. How could I? How could I not loot his body? Hi, hi, Apex. Have. Hi, 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 Ardy. For some reason, I can go back to Lothering and Flemeth's hut, so I'm just going between the both. Of them. Like, why do I have shale in Lothering? Who's to say? <laughs> Who's to say? I've literally never experienced it. Do you believe in the makeup? Certainly not. I've no primitive fear of the moon, such that I must place my faith in tales so that I may sleep at night. But this can't all be an accident. Spirits, magic, all these wondrous things around us, both dark and light. You know these things exist. The fact of their existence does not presuppose an intelligent design by some absentee father figure. So it is all random then. A happy coincidence that we are all here. Why is my Attempting name bitch? Because I'm, I'm a over bitch. Chaos is futile. Nature is, by its very nature, chaotic. I don't believe that. This is the evil playthrough. Welcome. All of us. We're evil. Yours apparently being to bother me. Fine. Fine. Stretch. Ugh. You happy? You happy with it? Standing stretch has been back. For a while. I did not get my toes. I was nowhere near my fucking toes. Bro. Where the fuck would you think I got my toes? Haven't been anywhere near my toes for fucking years. As you desire. As you desire. Yeah. Come on. Zevran, do it. Trigger the fucking cutscene, bro. Well, all right. 
Um, trigger the fucking cutscene. Toe. You cracked toe. <sighs> trigger the fucking cutscene. Trigger it. No. Trigger the cutscene. Do it, England, for like the hectic in my blood he rages and that was- Yes! Is it- is it gonna be the one? Is it gonna be- is it- please? Nope. I feel like I have to- I feel like I have to do some quest to get some. <sighs> okay. Ah, uh, never mind. I hate how you can click on them by accident. Okay. Free experience. Guess we can go to Redcliffe. I usually never go to Redcliffe first, but let's let's do that. Let's make that mistake. As you desire. Uh Redcliffe almost always fucks me as well. But why not? Yeah. Party camp. I want to look at tactics. And then I'll go to Radcliffe. Mmm. Uh, C Stan has a thing, so um, surrounded by enemies, surrounded by at least two enemies, usability. How about ally? Uh, being attacked by type of attack, melee attack, and then do use activity taunt. So that 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 one. Um, that gets like them off. Arc spawn. Uh, I don't know your abilities. Dread Howl, what is that? The Mabari lets out a howl stunning most nearby enemies. Okay, um, self. Surrounded by enemies, at least two enemies, and then use ability Dread Howl. Um, Alistair. Um, self, uh, being. Attacked by melee attack. Use abil activate mode. Shield defense. Or shield cover. What's the difference between shield defense and shield cover? Uh, shield defense. Well, this mode is active. The character drops into a defensive stance and favors the shield, gaining a bonus to defense and an increased rate chance to shrug off missile attacks, but taking a pen penalty to attack. With shield balance, the, the attack penalty is reduced. With shield expertise, the defense bonus increases. With shield mastery, the defense bonus increases further. And um, what's the other one? Shield cover. Well, in this mode, the warrior shield provides a greater chance of deflecting missile attacks. Shield mastery. And, okay, so that's for, yeah, that's for ranged attacks. So that's... Mm, then... Uh, 
ally being attacked by melee attack. Usability that he doesn't have it. Oh, he doesn't have taunt. Uh, so wait. Um, being attacked. Okay, so wait. Controlled party member status. Clear. Um, enemy. Target of party member. Target of main character. Attack. So he always attacks the same character as me. I guess that's a good thing. Um, what, what other? Rock mastery. Uh... Quake, slam. Shale slams a stony fist into an enemy target. If the blow attacks, it generates an automatic critical hit and knocks the target back. After learning this talent, Shale gains an additional bonus to damage whatever pulverizing blows is active. Self any. Pulverizing blows, I guess. Shale activates a mode that allows defensive talents, taking a penalty to defense in exchange for a bonus to damage. With Slam, Shale gains an additional bonus to damage. With Quake, Shale gains an ad a bonus to armor penetration. With Killing Blow, Shale gains an even uh, greater bonus to damage. I mean, that's fucking enemy. Um, clustered, clustered with at least two allies. Usability. Um, Bello? What does Bello do? Uh, Shale erupts at the sound of the rock itself, stunning nearby enemies unless they pass a mental resistance check. After learning this talent, nearby enemies are more likely to choose Shale as target whether Stoneheart is active and the bonuses in that mode is active. Okay, wait. Um, self surrounded by enemies, at least two enemies, is Bello. Wait, that's that's already a thing. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> um, slam. Shale slams a stony fist into an enemy target. Uh, gains an additional. Okay. Wait. Uh, slam. Why not? Yeah. I feel like that's fine. We'll we'll test it out. Oh shit, okay. Yep, th thanks thanks for hanging out, Bonnie. See you later, alligator. Indeed. Indeed. Yes. Okay, I'm taking the OGs to Radcliffe. It makes sense. Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. <sighs> I'm not gonna like this, am I? I don't know. I doubt it. I've never liked it, that's for sure. Well, uh, let's see. How do I tell you this? We're almost at Redcliffe. Did I say how I know Arl Eamon exactly? Um... Why, are you his son? No, no, I'm not his son. I'm a bastard. My mother was a serving girl at Redcliffe Castle, and she died when I was born. Our Lehman took me in and raised me before I was sent to the Chantry. Right. The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marrick, which made Kaelin my half-brother, I suppose. Ah. Uh. <laughs> so you're not just a bastard, but a royal bastard. Ha, yes, I guess it does at that. I should use that line more often. I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaylin's rule, and so mm. they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Right. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. 
I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, does Loghain know? Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. I don't know if that means anything, though. Not I certainly key. never considered the idea that it yes, might I'm ever switching be to important. orange juice. Al Eamon eventually married a young woman from Orlais, despite all the problems it caused with the king so soon after the war. He loved her a great deal. Anyway, the new Arlesa resented the rumors which pegged me as the Arl's bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care, but she did. She so cared. off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age 10. Just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. What a bitch. You were probably luckier than most orphans. <laughs> I suppose you're right. I wasn't raised as the Arl's son, though. If you're picturing that, I slept in hay out in the stables, not on silk sheets. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall. And it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Isle came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually he just stopped coming. Oh. Uh. But you're an heir to the throne, right? Let's hope not. I'm the son of a commoner and a Grey Warden to boot. It was made very clear to me early on that there was no room for me raising any rebellions or such nonsense. Of and course. that's fine by me. A little bit of no, if there's an heir right there. to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kaelin's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Though, if he's really as sick as we've heard, oh no, I, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Great Wardens. Aren't you? See? I knew you could do it. It's easy, isn't it? So she's kind of warming up to him now, but still doesn't really like him. Also, he walked off that way. Now he's like here behind me. That makes sense. I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? Ah. Get out of my way, I have no time for slack-jawed fools. I'm not stopping you or anything. But have you even heard what's happened here? Has anyone? I've heard Arl even is sick, if that's what you mean. He could be dead for all we know. Nobody's heard from the castle in days. We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother. Tegan. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. Oh my god, I'm, oh. I'm like a little bit dizzy all of a sudden. Oof. <laughs> God, imagine this walking into your fucking, like... <laughs> uh, hello, I'm an elf. This is uh, the king's bastard. And uh, this is a sister. Thomas, yes. And who are these people? And that's an apostate. They're obviously not. And this is our dog. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well Such done, a good ragtag group of people. Like... My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainersphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan. 
Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news! Still alive, yes. Though not for long if Tern Loghain has anything to say about it. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. Of course. Uh, no, not all of us died. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. Of no course. one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. Yeah. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. No, lovely. Mm. Why are you telling me this? Because each night they return, their ranks bolstered with our recently dead, and we are desperate for help. Of course it you seems are. there is no end to the demands upon your time. Let us seek your allies elsewhere. With Caelan dead and Loghain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. Alistair, I hate to ask, but I desperately need the help of you and your friends. Oh, of course you do. It isn't just up to me. Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against Loghain without Arl Eamon. You want my help, you don't know me. I know Alistair, and I trust those he chooses to travel with. What do you say? God. First, I have questions. By all means. Isn't there a way to get into the castle to get at the source? The castle is closed to us, its doors barred. We could storm it, certainly, but what would that accomplish? Our numbers are too few. We cannot throw men at the castle walls when they are needed to protect the village. Okay, why don't you just evacuate the village? I tried. Our one attempt at an organized evacuation resulted in an immediate attack. Yesterday, I found out these creatures attack those fleeing on their own, even during daytime. Whatever lies in the castle wants this village dead. That's lovely. What happens after tonight? Once the village is safe, we will try to enter the castle to find the source of this trouble. I've heard enough. Then you will help us? What happens if I refuse? Then I would have to kindly ask you not to get in our way. Okay, well, uh, very well, I will help. How pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you. She Thank you. This Eamon, right? means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then That's return why she's to your helping. Person. She yes, doesn't want to. Now then, there is much to do before night to. falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside that's the chapel. That's where her brain so is Perth, at. One of Eamon's knights is that's just up the cliff at the windmill, at. watching the. I'm really castle. fucking tired. You may discuss with them the preparations for It's been three hours. I've been live for three hours. Uh, I'm, I'm on my way. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. I'm not your friend. Okay. Um. How about a quick break? Huh? How about, how about a quick break? A little break you do. Cause I need one. Cause it's, it's been a while. I've been streaming for three hours and I had one really short break. So, um, there we go. Be right back.
Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me get myself back into the swing of things. Okay. Um, right. Because she would help these people, right? Let us pray. Blessed art thou who exists in the maker's sight. Blessed art thou who. I'm scared, mother. Caitlin. Happen? Sorry. Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. You're not bothering me. I shouldn't be such a crybaby. With mother gone now, I have to be brave. I just... I can't help myself. I'm so frightened. Those... Those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time. Everywhere. How terrible. You poor thing. I wish there was something we could do to help. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. Okay, um... Have you tried looking for him? I went to her house. It's by the square. He wasn't there. I searched the rest of the village too. I called and I called, but he never answered. I, I wonder if he ran off into the woods. I'm so worried. Without me, he has nobody. Okay. What would you give me to find him? I I have nothing. Everything we owned is in our house. If you found my brother, I would be eternally grateful. Oh, please, couldn't you look for him? I'm begging you. I'll think about it. I understand, I do. I'm just so afraid for him. I'm so scared, Father. What are we going to do? Right. Oh! Why did it switch like that? Walking corpses. Do you think it's something in the water? <laughs> right, uh, Murdoch. No sign of them coming back from the castle. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I didn't think they made women Grey Wardens. Um. And why would you think that? For more reasons than you care to hear, I bet. Still, there's no reason to think Bantigan's lost his mind. We aren't gonna turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate mm. or nothing. Well, we do want to help however we can. Okay. You can trust us. Focus. My name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village, providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. That sounds likely. Yes, well, I haven't given up hope. Not yet, anyway. Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. Um. Oh. Carry on. The militia will do what it can, but don't get your hopes up. Well, sure, they take the day at the moment, you know. I don't wanna... Think about that. I guess this might be the last night after all. Hmm, right. Well, all right. When you approach a dresser, something moves inside you. You hear a short surprise intake of breath and then silence. Open the dresser. Ah, what are you doing? All right, I'll come out. P 
Please, don't hurt me. I'll go back to the Chantry if you want. I didn't mean any harm. Okay, um... I'm not going to hurt you. Go get lost. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. She's a softy. I guess. I guess she's a softy now. I'm supposed to recruit someone from Radcliffe though, aren't I? Um Dernal Garrison. Probably isn't here. He's not in there. Right. Let's look for the guy we're supposed to recruit. Maybe he's in this fucking house. There he is. Yes, what can I do for you? I've a letter for you from the Blackstone Regulars. I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my wife. Don't sign that paper, she said. They might pay you a few sovereigns now, but they'll be back. Blast. I'll see you on the front lines, I suppose. See ya, bitch. Right. Hey, an injury kit. That's nice. That's nice. That's fucking great. All right. Um, I don't know why I'm actually doing that quest, but I'm hoping there's some like money at the end of it, <laughs> or something of use to me. So you truly do not believe in any sort of higher power? It has been bothering you, I see. No, I do not. Must I? What do you believe happens to you after you die, then? Nothing. I do not go to sit by the Maker's side, if that's what you mean. Only those who are worthy are brought to the Maker's side. Mm -hmm. So many other sad souls are left to wander in the void, hopeless and forever lost. And what evidence of this have you? <laughs> I see only spirits. No wandering ghosts of wicked disbelievers. <clears throat> it must be so sad to look forward to nothing. To feel no love and seek no reward in the afterlife. Yes, the anguish tears at me so. <laughs> you have seen through me to my sad, sad core. Now you're simply mocking me. You notice. It appears your perceptive powers know no bounds. Oh my god, okay. All right, okay, all right. Do I have gloves that don't really know? Well, actually, these are light. No, they're medium. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. Hey, no, I internet, admit, come back. I do not know how to address hey, the elf in your position. Hey, right, go back up. No, it's a zero. <laughs> no. Get the fuck back up there, thank you. Um, I don't fucking care what you call me. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah oh, well, with a great warden aiding our defense. Perhaps all is not lost. Um. K. 
carry on then. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make her watch over you. She does. She's not gonna offer them help, like extra help. Like she wouldn't do that. She's like, I'm just fucking gonna get this over with. Right. It is an unnatural stillness, as though there is naught in there but dead. Say no more. This is a gift for Liliana. It's a plot gift. Lives, and I will not listen to your inauspicious chatter. Yo, dog. Okay. Um. I actually have to fucking at, like get their like ask them for help. That sucks. I actually have to offer my help to them. That's bullshit. That doesn't work with this character I have, though. Hello? And so I sh What the fuck? Hey. Evan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. And the brat was more problem than he was worth. I'll, I'll take Bevan and stay out of your way then. Thank you, again. Like, she, she, she's playing this hard ass, but she wanted to, to help the child. As you desire. And keep the child safe. You're a Grey Warden, right? Were you in Ostagar? In the Kokari Wilds? My husband and son went there to bring the Chant of Light to the Chastened. But I haven't heard from them since. Are you Jetta? I am. You've heard of me? Uh, yeah. Your husband and son are both dead. I... I thought that might be the case. Sorry, babe. Thank you for telling me. Certainly. Make his blessings upon you. Did open the thing that was meant for her, but hey. Sometimes you gotta be mean and evil, you know? I fear most for the children. They are so frightened. It breaks my heart. Wait, whose voice is that? That's that's a that's a that's someone's voice. I fear most for the children. They are so frightened. It breaks my heart. Who whose voice? What? That's that's from that's from one of that, that's a that's a voice that we 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 hear we hear again, right? I think so. Definitely think so. Man, okay. Uh... Something you need? Hmm. Okay. What can I do to help? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Uh -huh. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. Uh-huh. <laughs> Is there anything else you need? We could use some extra bodies. Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot. But he flat out refuses. Yeah. Carry on. The militia then. will do what it can, but don't get your hopes up. <sighs> Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Okay, open the door or I break you down. I am. Alright, just don't destroy anything, damn you! Cool, look at me. Look at me! Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. <laughs> so, I open the door. I've got nothing of value for you. The militia's taken whatever I had. So if you're here to beat on a sad old man, then all I ask is you get on with it. I don't have much to live for as it is. Mood, same. 
There's no need for a beating, provided you do what I say. What do you want exactly? The militia. So the smithy is cl oh, the militia needs your help. Why should I help Murdoch when he won't help me? Hmm? Because My I'm girl, asking. Valena is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the mayor won't send anyone for her. Right. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. Cool, yeah. Um... Sounds fair enough. That's right. When the time comes, I'll join my wife and Valena. In the meantime, I'm getting good. No, she wouldn't. She wouldn't drunk. be like, oh, I'll do it or whatever. No, she'd, be, she'd she'd totally be like, whatever. I don't fucking care. She doesn't care about these people. She only wants to get our Lehman, right? And the only way to get to our Lehman is to go in to the thing, and they're not gonna let her go into the thing, right? Un until. General oh, store. Right. Wait, there's a store here? Since when? Allow me. I could do that for you. No, you couldn't. No, you couldn't, my dear. Fuck you. Fuck you, Leliana. You're a liar and a bitch. No swimming. Lovely. No swimming in the lake. I guess. Well, all right. <sighs> I don't think I've ever been on this part of the map. I usually don't explore much since you can't really explore in this game since there is no jump. It's kind of dumb. There should be a jump in this game. Why wouldn't there be, you know? Sup? Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. We'll go where we like, unless you'd like to stop us. No, no. Have to run the place. It's not like I could stop people like you anyway. The name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Now, kindly tell me why you're here. Um... What are you doing? Shut up in here. Surviving. We have supplies to last for quite some time. And my boys and I can swing a weapon better than any of those fools out there. Right, yeah. You're a coward. You look more than competent. With you out there, they don't really need me, do they? I mean, uh... <laughs> Your chances are better out there. Stay in here, then, if you prefer. That's a mighty fine suggestion. I think I'll do that. Have a nice day. What's left of it? Cool, yeah, I'm gonna steal your shit though, bro. He doesn't have any shit to steal. Wait. What did I get? Because he technically has the sword, like... I wish it told me what I what I stole. It doesn't. It never does. Doesn't he have the sword, like a Stan sword? Mm -hmm. He does, right? Oh, I'm fucking. <sighs> I'm 
Right. Yo, Murdoch. Have you spoken to Owen? Is he not the most stubborn fool you've ever met? Yeah, you'll have to make do without his help. What? Why? He didn't go and get himself killed, did he? Mm, it doesn't matter. He won't help. Well, you'll have to beat some sense into that crotchety fool, or, or we need replacements from somewhere. If you can get through his door, you've done better than I have. Go try again. <sighs> Go talk to him there. Don't drink Fucking with him. Fucking hell. That's how he sucks you in. Just my luck, our success hinges on the most foolish drunk of a smith ever to grace the maker's lands. Why are they, they're like, do it, do this, do that, do this, do that. It's like, fuck you. You bitch. Join me for a drink or two, if you like. We can wait for the sunset together, eh? Lusha needs your help, bro. Why should I help Murdoch when he won't help me? Hmm? My girl, Felena, is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there. So you in intend the to drink yourself to death? Why not? It's not like we're going to live past the night anyhow. Or are you going to save us? Not likely. And there you have it. We're doomed. So if I lock myself in here and drink quietly, waiting for the sun I'm to go I'm rolling myself into a fucking really bad fun. situation. If you want, I can put you out of your misery. If the need to kill me overwhelms you, go ahead. It's quicker than the drink or the monsters. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, how about we don't? Old man, harmless, drunk, any of these things ring a bell? Is that an argument for or against? Against? Fine, I let him live. Ugh. Interferer. <laughs> Why should I? My girl, Valena. Is one of the Alessa's maids and she's. You can work. I'm an old man. Everyone knows we aren't making it through the night. Or are you going to save us? Ah, uh, I think you can save yourselves and I Is don't have to so? do anything. Hmm. Maybe it's... Tell you what. Fuck that. If you want me to do repairs for Murdoch and his men, promise me you'll go... Do my best. I want to promise... Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her I'm back I'm not to promising me if, anything. And we have nothing to talk about. Let me go back to drinking and waiting for the monsters to come. Have it your way then. Fuck you. I fucking hate this dude. I fucking hate him. He's a little bitch. A little bitch bastard. He's like, oh, I'm drunk and sad, so I'm gonna let all these people die. No, fuck him. Like, where? Lovely. Go into it. Thank you. Another doomed soul come to drown their sorrows here, I see. If you came here for a drink, you'd have to talk to Lloyd. He's got a vice grip on the spigots. I'm just here to keep the boys from mutiny. What do you know about that elf in the corner? Not much. He's very quiet. Says his name's Beric and he's here to meet his brother, but I think he's lying. He's a bit creepy. I should go. Keep safe. The fuck? I've never talked Not to this guy. Not looking for company. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Strange seeing a fellow elf here. And that's all we have in common. What does that mean? I'm not here to talk. There's something about this man's demeanor. I... Uh, I don't know. I have no idea what you're talking about. But you do, don't you? 
I know spy when I see one. Mm. Look, just because you're an elf doesn't mean we should be friends. I was just told to... I mean, just leave me alone. I'm not going anywhere. Start talking. About what? Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people. <laughs> and who's going to stop me? I... I'm not here to hurt anyone, I swear. I'll tell you what you want to know, just don't kill me. This is more than I bargained for. Look, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. But they never said anything about monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck, same as you, I swear. Who hired you to do this? A tall fellow. I forget his name. He uh, said he was working for Hal. Arl Rendon. Hal. Oh, interesting. He's an important man. Terran Logan's right hand. So I didn't do anything wrong. I mean, uh... So you know how this happened? Tell me now. I don't know anything about these creatures. When the Arl got sick, I got scared that people would think I was involved. But I swear I don't know anything about it. They sent me to watch. Maybe they knew the Arl would get sick. I don't know. Uh... What are you supposed to watch the castle for? Just to report any changes. Honest. All I could send word about was the Arl getting sick. After that, monsters started coming from the castle. And how do I know you're telling the truth? Here. This is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Keep it. Do whatever you want with it. I just thought I was serving the king and blackmail a coin on the side. You have to believe me. I think you should help defend Redcliffe tonight. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. Never actually done that before. Graffiti. Hello there, friend. Can't say we've ever met before. Stranger to the village, I take it. Yeah. Haven't had many travelers lately. All this nonsense is bad for business. Bet you regret coming, yes? <sighs> yes, my timing couldn't be worse. A shame, isn't it? Evil creatures and such. Everyone going to perish before sunrise. Ah, makes you thirsty, don't it? So, what'll it be? You are here to drink, I hope. Let's see what you have. Right. I've got some supplies, too, in case you're interested. With the store closed down, it doesn't hurt to pick up some of the slack, eh? <laughs> I like this man. To buy this for Ogren. All right. Um, I'm not as evil as I thought I'd be. I guess I can't be, like, fully evil. I guess I can't do that, man. How the fuck did I get up here? Where's the exit? There it is. Man, every time I play this game, I find something new. Guess I'm not as good at exploring as I thought I was, huh? Oh my god, just go. What is it you need? Uh, have you considered using the oil in the village store? No one told me of this. Oil, you say? How much exactly? Enough to set many monsters aflame. Assuming that would hurt them. Yes, I see what you have in mind. That might be effective if used carefully. Yes, excellent idea. I'll send some men to collect the oil. We'll use it to slow these creatures down. Have you anything else to ask me in the meantime? Is there anything I can do we to help? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. 
I'll see what I that can do. That gladdens my heart to hear it. I won't do that, but hey. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. All right. If you send me over to talk to Have Dwin one more time, Owen? or Owen... Is he not the most stubborn fool you've ever met? <laughs> he won't help unless we rescue Vilena. Typical. Like there's nobody else in the entire castle who might just need rescuing. Selfish fart. Well, you'll have to beat some sense into that crotchety fool, or... Or we need replacements from somewhere. If you can get through his door, you've done better than I have. See, he keeps saying Don't we'll need again. replacements from somewhere. Right. So I feel like... Let's hope we see morning. I feel like there is another path I could take. There is something else I could do. Right? Right? Like, there is something. There has to be. God, fuck, man. Join me for a drink or two, if you like. We about your daughter. About her. You already said you wouldn't help. Or... Or have you changed your mind? What if she's look, dead? It would be better than going to my grave wondering. What about the militia? They need your help. If you look for Valena, I'll reopen the smithy and make some repairs for the militia. I can do that much. I'll do my best. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damned thing. And I didn't believe him either. This fucker. I promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. You're a little bitch. What's, uh, what's to stop me from lying to you? Nothing besides your conscience. You got one of them. Not really. <laughs> That's actually an answer. <laughs> I didn't I didn't suspect that it's gonna be like a response, but it is. Not really. And you should know the value of a deal. You want something, I want something. Fine. I'll accept that. Oh, lovely. Shut the fuck up. Morgan hates that we're doing this, which means I hate that we're doing this. Well, it looks like the damn. I'll send one of my men to inform Bantigan the militia is ready for battle. All right. Are you sure? There's still nah. time left if you need Let's to Let's do it. And good luck to you. You'll need it. Let's fucking do it. And then when they do it, when I finish this fight, I think that's going to be the end of the stream. Because I'm, I'm tired at this point. I'm exhausted at this point. I don't fucking know why I, I am so exhausted. But I am. But I am. It might be because I spent two hours at the fucking doctor's office yesterday. It was hell. It was literally hellish. Get to your positions! Make ready! Make ready. That's a that's a proper sentence. It's time, men. Know that we fight for the make Okay, I hope you have Okay, cool. Light the traps. Burn these foul creatures. Hey, it's 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 the choke me like you hate me, dude. Oh, this should be good. Let's have a I'm backstabbing. I'm trying to backstab. Leliana, stop it. Stop. You're an arch 
archer. You're an archer. Leliana, stop it. I'm taking away your blades. They're gone. You don't have them anymore. Punishment. Now we get a I feel like Dog is overpowered now that I have him stunning enemies left and right. Come on, dude. You guys can handle him. The monsters are attacking from the lake. They're attacking the barricades. We need help. Knights, stay here and guard the pass. Come on, we need to hurry. Ugh. I'm gonna try using stealth. I don't generally use stealth, but we're gonna try to get in. No, they detected me like immediately. Alistair now attacks my target. I think that's pretty good. And that works really well. <laughs> Gotta protect the squishes. We need stamina. Stamina. Hello? Come on. 
come on. Hydrate. I don't have a fucking drink with me, dude. I'll give you those points back because I don't have any water. I've drank it all. You should grab what you can. This fight sucks. The combat in this game sucks. It's so chaotic. It's so hard to tell what's happening. They can do this. Take it. Leliana, take it. Cool. All right. Dawn arrives and we survive the night. We are victorious. Hog. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folk beside me. I thank you, dear lady. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. Yeah, um... I hope we'll be discussing a reward soon then. If need be. With luck, we'll be discussing that with my brother. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of A donation the to the Grey Wardens, however. The Mayor last two Grey Wardens father, in We salute you. You and so many others who have perished here, walk with he who is your maker. Long may you know the peace of his love. With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Okay, so that's what we'll be doing. Now, we've no time to waste. Next time. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. Cool. Um, that's what we'll be doing next time. Next time. Now... I'm going to, um... See who's streaming right now. Let's, let's see. Paper is streaming. What's Paper doing? It's a game called Cozy Grove, apparently. It looks cool. Looks like this weird kind of thing. We read paper a lot here, so I guess, uh, you know, you know the... You know the, uh, The drill. Be nice, be kind, say hello from me. I'm gonna be there too for a bit, but... You know. Have a, have a good one, everybody. Thank you for hanging out with me today, and say hello to paper. Who's streaming Cozy Grove. A game I've never seen before, so I'm excited to see what it is. Bye-bye now.